It's Phil Friedman reporting for Patch with this week's video fishing update. Jumbo squid or Humboldt squid continue to make a big impact on the local fishing up and down the coast. But the invasion now is broad in scope. Not only are there squid in Southern California, but they're down in Northern Baja, California. They penetrated up into the Channel Islands. These voracious squid have three hearts. They can live in depths of up to 2,300 feet and they hunt in schools 1,200 strong, mowing down everything in their path. But why are they here? Noted shark expert Patrick Douglas believes it's because the buzzsaw that was once down around Cabo San Lucas is missing now. The squid, called red devils by Baja fishermen, make their way around to the Pacific side and they used to encounter sharks. But practices such as finning have decimated the shark population. And you know what that means. There's an open gate for the squid to come up. Strandings this week on several Southern California beaches. And also we've seen the squid taken on the piers. Many wonder what effect they're having on our local fisheries. Sand bass, calico bass. And how about the blue whale? These jumbo squid love to eat krill. Could it be that they're going to move the mighty blue whale around also? It's amazing how close to the coast these jumbo squid are. A quick trip on the half day city of Long Beach out of Marina Sport Fishing in Long Beach took us out to where we use these squid jigs. It is really necessary to put on the battle gear. These squid will ink you and flush gallons of water in your face if you're not careful. And they are voracious. They are a lot of fun and at times the action on deck can be comical. Squid being bounced over, changing colors, a mode and a method of communication as you can see that squid pulsating there. And they really do put up quite a fight. These squid have an average lifespan of about a year to when they can grow to 100 pounds. You can see these squid are more like five pounders right now but they still put on a big fight, and they also provide some excellent calamari, some wonderful eating, no question about it. When you have these staked out, they do provide something wonderful for the dinner table if they're nice and fresh. For now, we're going to keep our eyes on this bite in Southern California as anglers are having an awful good time. But the question looms, is it a curse or is it a treasure? For Patch, Phil Friedman reporting.